how much time we have before this pulsating, accursed, relentless taskmaster tries to put us out of business. Today, the question, who am I, is directly linked with an action or an act, since the long-term trend in Western society is to emphasize action rather than thought. 87 hours is an eternity. The cosmos was created in less time. Wars have been fought, and nations toppled in 87 hours. Fortunes made and squandered. The old attention span is not what it used to be. That's true, mine either. I don't have any attention anymore for anything that's not specific. Fifteen minutes! Crunch time! Crunch time! Let's go! Let's go! It's all very well to perform, but uh, all we're doing is ensuring the survival of the system and moving a little faster towards death. Are we really in that much of a hurry? My new operating system can't deal with it. Jesus, what is this? The information dark age? Let me ask you this. Why do we keep buying into this society of disposable technology? You know, and I ain't just talking about this computer stuff. I'm talking about everyday typical products like uh, disposable razors, uh, cars, homes. If we are living in a democracy as we claim, then why don't we speak up and say we, the people, insist that the manufacturers stop designing products that harm us or our environment and start thinking in the long term. It's brutal and inexcusable. I mean, it's an hour of uh, surroundings, jobs, and foreign schools, or are we going to start discriminating because it's not efficient? It's not coming from the people from above. <laughs> How are the people of the future going to know us, their ancestors, if we drop a bunch of numbers stuck in some camp for them? <laughs> 
You wouldn't believe how many people told me that if we left out what they considered important, then the hell with everything else. Anyway, did they really think that their bones would keep until Judgment Day? Well, you gotta remember that for them, Judgment Day was right around the corner. They expected it almost hourly. The way the samurai is found in death. Meditation on inevitable death should be performed daily. Every day when one's body and mind are at peace, one should meditate upon being ripped apart by arrows, rifles, spears, and swords. Being carried away by surging waves, being thrown into the midst of a great fire, being struck by lightning, being shaken to death by a great earthquake, falling from thousand foot cliffs, dying of disease, or committing seppuku at the death of one's master. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present the Operational Order of Civilization. Please give a warm welcome for nature, culture, governance, infrastructure, commerce, and fashion art. The Operational Order of Civilization is an awesome role model for a healthy and flexible society. Each level moves to its own pace. The slower holds up the faster and the faster livens up the slower and none messes around with each other's soul. Supposing that you're right and everything is connected to everything else, as you say. Still, you've got to start somewhere, don't you? Well, that's the real political question here. Where do you start? By changing the way we're seeing the world. You see, you're still searching for the, for the right piece to fix first. You don't see that all the problems simply are fragments of one single crisis, a crisis of perception. Oh, good. The world is coming to an end. And you say it's a crisis of perception. I'm sorry, that's a little abstract. 